Right, so we are in Gareth's workstation, and Gareth has pulled up some of the iconic pipeline samples. Gareth? Yeah, well, uh, yeah this is uh, obviously the, multi the original multitracks on tape, and of course I don't have that, but, but this is um, a, uh, a, a bunch of the copies of the original tracks um, all lined up. Um, and it's quite interesting looking, I've not looked at it for a very long time, uh, you can see, for instance, uh, how important the idea of ambience was to us. Uh, and look at, if, if you look at these four tracks, this is all, this is all the, orange the ones. Uh, well, the ones that I'm playing. Look, this is the vocal. Uh, let me just play a bit of it here. We go. Get out the crane construct. So we got one vocal, then we got an ambient track. Get out the crane construction time again. Which is stereo. Wow. And then we've got another ambient track for a long ambience. Even further away. Get out the crane construction time again. What is it this time? So, uh, you can, so we, uh, we dedicated one this is a stereo track, two, three, four tracks to the lead vocal. We've only got 22 tracks because we're using one track for time code, which I won't play because it's a bit unpleasant, mm -hmm. and one track for MC4 code. Yeah. The sequencer that's being used is a Roland MC4, and that needs its own code as well. Right. And there's probably another track somewhere with click on it. So we've really only got 21 tracks, and of those 21 tracks, we've already dedicated Four. Four tracks to the lead vocal so because you were seventy. Because we're so so into this thing of the natural rooms, yeah. you see. So as you know, as everyone knows, um, we went out into the. We did all the original sound sampling somewhere around the old ruined railway arches around the back of Shoreditch, um, and uh, the, one of the backing vocals was we went back there with. Uh, with uh, we put the um, the backing track on uh, a cassette, um, and um, uh, Martin heard the cassette in his headphones, and then we he sung the backing vocal onto the Stellar Vox down there, uh, and um, wow. then we pa we we played it back in, and and legendarily the train went by. That's this vocal here. Taking from the greedy, giving to the. to ask when that train went over were you like oh no thinking no i think we i think we were so i was sufficiently familiar with some of the french uh, nouvelle vague like john Luc goddard famously used shots where shit happened in the background that he didn't plan but he incorporated into the piece that so was a happy and, accident. and it was a it was a happy accident i'm sure we had a few different takes mm. and then probably some without train but everyone fell in love because so many of the samples were recorded in that very same space. So it, it really made a, a, we reconnected once again to the space where the samples were built, um, right. you know, uh, and here's a bunch of them. I mean, this is probably done in the studio. Maybe not, I don't know. What is that sound? Is it like, sounds like a, boy, like a Peruvian chant or something. Is it, is it someone's voice? That it's sounds like a, like a bottle. Pop. That's a blow bottle, yeah. So, you know. And then we've got, uh, you know, uh, this is in no particular order, but it's just fascinating to hear the, the, the difference for me, anyway, to hear the different, you know, and, and as you can... That, uh, this, this sound obviously just goes all the way through. Uh, Scraping metal pipe. This yeah. is... Uh, uh, you can hear the room, some kind of room in the background. Oh, there's the pipe. So that, that would have been tuned, obviously tuned. Yeah, obviously, on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you tune yeah, it in yeah, the yeah, sound, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, and then you play on a keyboard. Do, 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 do. It's almost like distorting. 